Hello everyone, this is Ahmad Rada and today I'm going to speak with you about another method which is the direct method or you can say the Berlitz method First of all, I'm going to speak with you about the historical background of this method how to do a lesson using this method inside the classroom the three main stages of this method after that, some advantages of language acquisition using this method inside the classroom so let's start at the beginning let's have a look at what Maximilian Berlitz thought in the 1880s and he thought that the target language must be taught or must be learned the same as the first one so he thought that it must be build up of repetition of the same vocabulary repetition of um, some vocab during or inside a context and he also mentioned that the target language must be used inside the classroom not the first language even also the teacher uses reality or uses pictures inside the classroom in order to elaborate the new vocab for the students rather than translating them and what's important here is teaching grammar inductively which means students have the ability to elicit or to get the rule of the grammar by themselves not by the teacher explanation at the beginning of the session so it is clear here that the focus in this method is for the pronunciation and also the spontaneous use of the language of the target language here we can find that no translation and little grammar analysis moving to the second part of today's video which is the three main parts or the three main stages of using the direct method inside the classroom and you can say that PPP presentation practice production so let's move each one of these um, three stages has its own features and its own characteristics and now we are going to briefly explain them first part here which is the presentation and here the learners are introduced to the lesson by means of videos audios or even the teacher can use TPR which is total physical response just to explain or to give the students some key vocab about the lesson that they are going to study this um, part of the lesson takes around five to eight minutes at the beginning of the session the second part of the lesson which is practice and here students are going to practice the grammar rule or the new vocab that they have studied inside the session by means of activities you can say that short activities or short dynamic activities inside the classroom some activity that a teacher can use inside the classroom just to ask the students to um, practice what they have studied like crossword puzzle and here fill in the gaps and also using cognitive um, uh, bears or you can say matching and also the next one which is uh, like fill in the gaps or fill in the blanks is one of the dynamic activities that can be used during the direct method here the second part or the second stage of using the direct method it takes from 15 to 20 minutes of the whole session now moving to the last part of the three stages of using the direct method inside the classroom which is production and here we can find that it is the most important part because here we give the student the freedom to talk or to write here we can give them like free or unguided activities inside the classroom for example speaking activities like short dialogues or conversation between the students and also can give them like writing activities to write like um, some notes write shopping lists write um, an email write a paragraph according to the lesson and according to the session that you are doing with your students some advantages for using the direct method inside the classroom in fact we can find that it has some advantages for the teacher and also some advantages for the students so we can say that the lesson approach is easy and straightforward number two the students can easily follow the teacher and follow his rubric number three we can say that the format of the method makes it easier for the teacher to follow and for and to prepare for the lesson next part which is 
The objectives of the method for the teacher is clear to be done before the session. The last one and the most important one, which is priority inside the classroom is for students. And here we are dealing with STT, student talking time. So when you move to the last part of the session, the productive part, and here you give your students the freedom to talk, the freedom to write, here this is the outcome of the process of teaching and here we can find or we can assess or we can obtain learning or acquiring another language finally let me thank each one of you many thanks for watching this video and wait me in the next video inshallah with another method of teaching english language as a second language goodbye